Gamma Review. Hey there, welcome to my Gamma AI app review. In this video, we're going to take a look at how this Amazon ChatGPT store creator works. We're going to take a look at a demo of the Gamma AI app to look inside the members area to see how this works and the type of website you can create with the Gamma app and just talk about the pros and cons of this approach, what I like the look of and what I am more skeptical about in terms of Gamma. Before we dive in, just to let you know, my name is Adam from Web Traffic Toolkit. I earn a full-time income online with affiliate marketing, very much focused in on traffic generation and list building for that. Been doing this from home for over 10 years now, so I've seen lots of these type of products come and go in that time. So hopefully my Gamma review will help you out as you research this launch, um, taken from all that experience. Also, if you want to discover my number one system to plug into right now for generating a realistic income online, then click the link below. Click that link in the video description below. That's my top online system, a complete done for you system and a really excellent way to get traffic, build your list and get those consistent commissions coming in. So click that link in the video description below for my number one recommended online system. Okay, so in terms of this Gamma review, basically it's an Amazon store creator which uses chat GPT and AI to help you create the product descriptions, the image reviews and just fill out all the information needed for each product listing. So first of all, in terms of the sales page, this vendor has very similar product launches, um, which actually do very well on the Warrior Plus pl platform, they're normally top sellers. So a couple of things just to point out is what they do quite well to sell these products is there's a very catchy product name, very short brandable one word term, with a catchy logo, and then they're combining AI, which is a powerful buzzword topic with a powerful social media platform. So this one combines AI with Amazon and other product launches follow the same ingredients. This is another one called Quantum. Again, a catchy name, logo, combining AI with YouTube that time. And there's another one called Nebula, which combines AI and Facebook and another one called Jet, which combines AI and YouTube. So this vendor does a really good job of combining the hype and buzz of AI, which is in the news, with very popular social media platforms, which everyone's heard of, using these type of cookie cutter um, sales pages. They do very well. So you just want to get into the mindset of how are these products selling, why are they doing well, and you want to be the affiliate with the big list so you can send traffic to these sales pages when they launch because that's when the, the, most of the money is made with these systems. It's not necessarily the people using them, it's the people promoting them via their affiliate link. So inside uh, Gamma, basically it's an Amazon store creator. Um, let's have a look at this demo video. It's an Amazon store creator um, where you fill in the product description, um, the product name, the images, the features, reviews and tags and you can all get this with ChatGPT by entering in a prompt and it will create you the information for each product. Um, so this is supposedly an Amazon store. Um, they're going to give a, an example of what one of the demo websites looks like. So you've got this e-com style store with lots of different product listings, um, star testimonials, you've got the image of the product, you've got the product name, a product descriptions, um, features and specifications and there's also a review and testimonial section and then you can actually take payments, add to cart buttons and then shipping information for any physical products um, you want to ship um, to your users. My main skepticism with this approach is that Amazon products, you don't need to create a new description using AI and ChatGPT because the Amazon vendor has already got the product listing the product image and the product description. So it doesn't really make sense to have create a product listing for a specific product and then get AI to create a generic image and a generic name, product name and generic product description to go with a very specific product. It doesn't make sense, there's a disconnect there. So whilst this looks quite an interesting e-com store builder where you can upload your own products, give them an image, a name and a description. It doesn't make sense to use AI to create um, 
product descriptions because AI doesn't really know exactly what the product is, the exact specifications. It would make more sense if this was hooked up directly to the Amazon API, extracting out the information for the product and reposting it as is to your website. I think AI comes in if you're creating content to promote a product, such as articles and blog posts and social media posts, video scripts. It doesn't make sense to use AI for the actual product listings, in my opinion. Um, so I think there's a disconnect here in terms of calling this an Amazon store creator, but you're not getting the information on each product from Amazon. You're just manually creating it step by step yourself, giving it your own name, your own description. It would make more sense just to pull that directly from Amazon. This is probably more for you if you want to create your own dropshipping website with your own products you're getting from your um, a dropshipping company and you want to take the payment yourself and fulfill it yourself. So this makes more sense as your own dropshipping website creator, um, not an Amazon affiliate site creator. I think there's a bis bit of a disconnect between how this is marketed on the front end as an Amazon AI store creator and the reality of what you get inside the members area. And they're talking about taking payments, um, payment processing and shopping, but ideally you're going to want to promote these as an Amazon affiliate marketer. So you, you would just direct people via your Amazon affiliate link to the Amazon website. That's what Amazon marketing is all about, rather than taking the um, payment yourself. In terms of the traffic, they've got the social media sharing tool in the back end. A lot of these AI launches have that. So whilst some of these websites are really good for sharing content, especially Reddit nowadays, um, Pinterest is another good good one. They rank re really well on Google. So even if you don't have following in Reddit and Pinterest, if you targeted the keyword properly, um, do keyword research, target a high volume, low competition keyword, um, and market it properly, these could rank in the Google search engines. So some of these social media sites are quite useful for sharing to others, not so much. So it's not useful for sharing to Facebook unless you've already got a big Facebook following and the same with Twitter. Um, things like um, Reddit, Pinterest, LinkedIn, which may rank well in the Google search engines, it would be worth adding keyword targeted content to those websites. Um, but some of these other websites don't um, make much sense. So I'm always skeptical on the social media sharing tools as being your main traffic source. It could be a cool additional thing to get backlinks, um, get your link out there, get it ranked on the search engines, but it shouldn't be your main only um, traffic method. Um, for more reliable traffic method, what I like to do is list building and affiliate marketing. So I'm getting content out there, um, videos, blog posts, um, content out there all over on lots of different websites paid advertising and just focusing your mind on sending that to lead capture pages, your own funnel, so you're capturing the email address addresses. And then when a big launch has come out, whenever a new launch such as Gamma comes out, you can send clicks to this get via the high converting sales page and get commissions coming in. I get the impression most people will make money from Gamma by promoting it as an affiliate to their own email list rather than necessarily using the AI store builder. I think the AI um, store builder is quite good. The website looks quite good. It just doesn't make much sense to use it as an Amazon store when you're creating the product descriptions from scratch yourself. So whilst I think there's a slight disconnect with how it's presented, there is definitely still some value in that store builder because you can create quite a professional looking e-com store with it. Anyway, hopefully my ramblings on the Gamma AI app was of help. If you want to discover how I earn a full-time income online with digital marketing, been doing this for over 10 years now, and my number one system to focus on, click the link below. Uh, click that link in the video description below. That's my number one system, a complete done for you system, and a really excellent way to get traffic, build your list, and get those realistic and consistent commissions coming in. So click the link in the video description below for my number one recommended online system. Thanks again for checking out my Gamma AI app review. All the best and speak soon.